I would love to smell this on a man. <laughs> Ooh, my mouth is watering. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing probably the fragrance that I'm most excited about this year. I'm going to be giving you all my thoughts and opinions and whether or not I think the new Navitas Parfum and AI The Great collaboration, Ambrosia Imperial, is truly worth it. Now y'all know I do nothing besides honest reviews. So if you want to see what I think of this fragrance, please keep watching. I have to start this video by saying having this fragrance means more than just having another beautiful addition to my collection. Like, spoiler alert, y'all need it. It's amazing. I am so incredibly proud of AI the Great. When she announced that she was coming out with her own fragrance, I couldn't believe it. Not because I didn't believe in her, but I, I've never felt this much excitement and anticipation before buying a fragrance. Never, ever ever in my life. I have never purchased a fragrance from someone that I can call, like one of my internet friends. I truly, truly just adore AI the Great. Ever since she started her channel, she has just always been such a down-to-earth, beautiful, intelligent, and just all around an amazing person and content creator. And not only is this a huge win for her, but like this to me, it means so much more than that. It's like a you can do it pat on the back to every black woman content creator, influencer, blogger. To know that like I know someone who put out their own fragrance and it's not like just a fragrance, it's an amazing fragrance experience. I am beyond ecstatic. So AI the Great, hats off to you. I'm buying whatever fragrance you put out. If nothing else, just to support you because I know how much support means and having this fragrance in my collection means so much. So I am so incredibly proud of you. When AI the Great spoke about her new fragrance, she talked about how it was going to be a gourmand, bananas foster scent. And I was like, oh, hold on, <laughs> because I do not like banana scented anything. I don't like eating bananas. I was like, hmm. That's, that's interesting. I also had never heard of a banana fragrance before. So I was kind of intrigued. Then she started talking about the notes and I was like, ooh, this sounds boozy and sweet and sexy. And like, in my mind, I was picturing something and this just far exceeded my expectations. <laughs> like far exceeded my expectations. I do also have to say, this is my first fragrance from Navitas Parfums. I never felt inclined to shop with them. I do know that they have different capsule collections with different, I guess, fragrance connoisseurs. But when this fragrance debuted, I was like, I I'm getting it regardless to support, but I knew I was gonna love it, even though I don't like banana. I always say that I trust AI the Great to take my card and blind buy fragrances for me. So I knew I would love this. So let's get into the experience. First, I wanna talk about the packaging because this is the packaging and I'll include a clip of me actually unboxing this fragrance. I was not expecting this. I think a lot of times when we think of a creator coming out with their own fragrance, well, I don't know what you might think, but it was not this experience. I mean, I was floored. This literally reminded me of unboxing a Zerjaw fragrance. And Zerjaw fragrances can run up to like $400. I mean, there's just packaging <laughs> on top of packaging on top of packaging. This is what I expect when someone says luxury niche. Now I know not everybody cares about packaging, but this fragrance retails for 245 US dollars. And when I'm spending that much, I expect an exquisite packaging presentation, I do. But I wanna read you guys the notes because this is the most interesting fragrance I have ever gotten my hands on. AI the Great Ambrosia Imperial, which is an extract day parfum, categorized as a sexy, seductive, and captivating scent. We love that. If y'all watch my fragrance reviews, you know that I'm all about something sexy. I want to smell sexy all the time. I just want to smell amazing. So here are the notes. The top notes are banana, rum, Brazilian orange, Ceylon cinnamon, Davana, the heart notes are dates, orchid, jasmine, and amberwood, and the base notes are caramel, vanilla, whipped cream, benzoin, musk, and saffron. Baby, 
when I tell you I cannot get enough of this set, so I'm gonna let you guys experience how I experience this fragrance every time I wear it. And I have to also say, I have quite a bit of a dent, and if y'all watch my videos, you know that I'm not a heavy sprayer. This is one you want to be a heavy sprayer with, and let me tell you why. So first of all, look at that atomizer. I mean, that is a burst. <sighs> the sweetest, sexiest, whipped, airy, fluffy fragrance I have ever tried. When I first tried this fragrance, I told AI, I was like, ooh, I want more banana. But the more I wear this fragrance, I understand why there's not more banana in it. Banana is a top, first of all, let's, this is my sense of the day, clearly. I, I need to bathe in this because this is just, this is the sexy scent of summer and y'all know I don't ever spray this many sprays. But the banana is a top note and it is so light and whipped and I love it. It's not the banana I would have wished because come to find out I want the banana scent but the banana is so well rounded it's a great introduction to the fullness of this fragrance if this was overwhelmingly banana especially in the dry down it would be like cloying so what I love about this fragrance it is light and fluffy and airy I get banana whipped cream benzoin I get like a little bit of amber. I, I don't exactly know what dates smell like, but there is some really sweet fruit in here. But this fragrance, if I could liken it to anything, it reminds me of the new Kayali Yum 23 Pistachio Scent or whatever it's called, except it's masterfully blended and created and produced and it lasts forever. So this is a light and fluffy, airy, beautiful scent. It is like nothing I've ever tried. Probably one of my favorite scents in my collection now just because it's so unique. I don't want you guys to think that it's gonna be super strong. It's not super strong and like in your face and potent, but I like that. Because for the summertime, you want to smell light and fluffy and airy. I would say for Siage, I would give it about a six out of 10. It definitely announces itself at first, but as it dies down, it does get a little closer to the skin, but it lasts forever. Because this atomizer is so amazing, if you give yourself, I'll do it on this arm, if you give yourself a long press, you get better longevity. So with this fragrance, it lasts at least eight hours on my skin. On my clothing, like 24 hours. I find that on the dry down, I get like very, like a masculine boozy scent. So this scent really takes you on a journey because at first I get whipped cream and banana and just like sweet, yummy goodness. But as it dries down, it does get a bit more masculine and boozy. I think this is perfectly androgynous. I would love to smell this on a man. <laughs> Ooh, my mouth is watering. Y'all, this fragrance is so beautiful. I really was not expecting to like it this much. I thought that it was gonna be a lot stronger, but the more I wear it, because I've been wearing it since I received it, like for two weeks, it's so light and fluffy. This is something that I can wear day to day, just running errands, going to, I mean, you could wear this to church. It's not offensive, but definitely a summer scent. Vacation, I mean, Oh, the whipped cream in here, it's just like, it just, this makes me hungry. So AI the Great spoke about her inspiration for this fragrance being Bananas Fosters. And I think I've had it once. One of my friends made it for me. You guys know, you've seen him on the channel, Dominique. This really puts me in the mind of Bananas Fosters. Banana, sugary, sweet liquor, but not too in your face and overpowering. I am just obsessed with it. I've never smelled a fragrance that was so, intoxicating and sexy without being overpowering. I would highly recommend this fragrance. I don't believe it is on pre-sale for 30% off. If you guys missed it, you missed it, but hopefully you can still pick this up. You will be seeing a lot more of this scent on my channel because when I tell you I am obsessed, y'all saw how I bathed myself in it. I am not a heavy sprayer. There's something about this fragrance that is so yummy. I am going to buy her entire collection no matter what it is, just off of wanting to support a fellow black woman doing her thing and I just, I'm so proud of her. But this, this is like, this wowed me. I'm used to heavy, sweet, sexy, intense scents as in a Zerzhok, like powerful and in your face. This is not in your face, but it makes you want to like, 
smell her again because most people have not smelled a banana fragrance and this is banana done right. AI the Great, thank you for such an amazing, exquisite fragrance experience from opening the packaging to wearing this on my skin. This is all I've been wearing for the past two weeks and I love it so much. I definitely think it's worth it. If you love a sweet fragrance that is light and airy and you want something perfect for summer that's not cloying or too in your face and sharp, you will love this. It is so masterfully blended. Oh, I mean, my mouth is just watering, thinking and talking about it. Literally, you can see how my face lights up. And so I do wanna say, if you're not a banana lover, I would still give it a try if you're open to it. I don't even, I don't even wanna taste a banana, but this, there's just something about it that is just so incredibly beautiful and even sexy without being like skanky. <laughs> Once again, shout out to AI the Great. I'm gonna link her channel down below. I mean, I am just so, I'm so incredibly proud of her and so incredibly pleased with this fragrance and happy to have this in my collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you have any comments or questions. Did you guys purchase this fragrance or will you now? I would highly, highly suggest it. I don't think you will be disappointed. It is definitely one of my favorites. I love you guys so much for watching. I will link this product down below and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Ooh, I mean, Oh, I just can't get enough of the way this smells on my skin. I, I've never bathed in a fragrance how I, I mean, who am I? Like, I don't spray like this. Oh, when I, this is one of those fragrances that you can spray a million times and it's not overpowering. Oh, they balance this so well. It's just so light and fluffy. My goodness, I can't get a, y'all, I might need to buy a second bottle. I may. <laughs>